Well, hello. My name is Ed Cunning. I am the Eastern Regional Manager for AEMC Instruments. Today we're going to talk about the Pell 100 series, which is, stands for Power Energy Logger. Now, more recently, we've been very focused on power quality. Uh, now, there is a need for a device with the ever-increasing uh, requirement for um, monitoring power and cost and getting our cost down that AEMC developed a product for doing just that. It measures power quantity. That's the key charter for this particular product. There are two models. One is the Pell 102, which has no display, and the Pell 103 has a display. It offers all the essential functions for logging power. Now, that is, it can uh, monitor voltage, current, power, power factor, KW, KWH, VARS, VA, and the classic uh, power monitoring uh, uh, parameters. They record energy over time, and that's all important because that's your consumption, and that's what you want to know. Okay. In addition to KWH, KVA, uh, displacement power factor, especially where we have uh, harmonics, where we have a, a significant amount of harmonic uh, energy, if you will. And it can monitor harmonics out to the 50th. It can also do THD, tell us what our total harmonic uh, distortion is. Well, as you can see here, um, these are our status lights. This tells us we are on charge. We have our 120 charge light on. Power on light tells us that we have uh, initiated the, the unit. We have an SD card in. We're not overloading our system. Our input levels are quite modest and we are recording. We have a yellow recording light flashing so that we had started a recording session. And we are also talking to our computer. We have Bluetooth uh, in operation. Up top here we have watts, and that is demand. That's instantaneous. Uh, here we have amperage, here we have voltage, and here we have frequency. We have our toolbar here, and we have our selector button that allows us to go and pick up various functions. Now we're moving over to watts. Now this tells us what our consumption is, you can see it winding up, 109, 110, and this will ultimately will go into the kilowatt range. Okay. We can then go over to harmonics, and this is the, uh, the classic pipe organ symbol, which tells us what our total harmonic distortion is, and it tells us uh, what the percent THD is. Now notice up here, you have a, uh, a quadrant single. This is a true four quadrant uh, tracking device. That is, it can go uh, source or load charging and uh, demand. So we have capacitive circuitry or what have you. Uh, this can actually be putting energy back into the service. This will actually track and record that. Okay, so it's a true four quadrant device. Okay. Next we can set demands for high and low uh, alarms and we can store those and this is what uh, tells us whether we're out of tolerance or not. Again, it's watching kilowatts, amps, volts, and frequency. 